Well, hello and welcome back to another RV walkthrough. As always, my name's Taylor Quayle. We're here in Tucson, Arizona at Padata RV Center to look at a 2011 Four Winds International 31P. It's about a 32 foot coach. It's on that E450 chassis with the V10 Triton. Single slide out in the galley area for your uh, dinette and your couch. It's got 64, 63,000 miles, selling it for $49,995. And we're gonna give you a whole walkthrough of it. So it is not full body paint, it is a decal coach. You'll see some of the decals are starting to peel and crack as to be expected with something 11 years old. But overall, whoever had this before kept the interior in quite good condition. Yeah, we did the whole floor and it actually looks good. All right, so let's start right up here at this tire. Let's see if we can figure out a date code on this bad boy. So that thing is 2014, so coming up on eight years old. The tire size is uh, 225-75 R16s. So your compartments, you have one compartment right here by the entry door for your propane tank. Right down below, 12.2 gallons on that bad boy. And then you got your six gallon water heater right above this storage compartment small little storage area there that storage compartment does have a holder this one does not unfortunately we should have 110 receptacles there back of the furnace back of the fridge as usual get a little better look at the decals without the sun it's kind of hard to tell in the video but there's cracking going on on the majority of them make sure these Cooper tires in the rear are the same and those don't have a date code on them all right phenomenal on he is a manual on it goes from that all the way down to right before that cab right there your rear storage compartment is massive just like the last coach i shot storage under each of the little covers area for a spare tire little drain plugs in all of them a couple lights too which is always nice kind of get a little glary here i'm sorry there is another rear entry for this compartment down there down below of course your hitch 5,000 pound four pin not seven something to point out let me show you the roof too all right here it is you got your Coleman Mach AC up there a couple skylights local TV antenna and the vent cover looks good though all right on the driver's side you have one more access for of course that massive storage area water connections you can see that without the glare the low um i'm sorry low point drain my gosh jump station for your green your black poles you got your fuel fill on the driver's side about midway eh, three quarters of the way um ch -ch -ch -ch. i don't see a day code on this one but this is a different tire so i'll have to find that out all your storage compartments are under the slide so let's see if i can give you a decent look at them battery compartment storage compartment now 30 amp power service single AC oops no auto transfer switch so you do got a plug in right there and then finally the generator 4,000 just under a thousand hours on the gen set all right that right there is the exterior walk let's go jump inside so as we go into the coach there is no exterior step you just walk right in. There's only a battery disconnect to the left when you walk in. Everything else is located right there. <laughs> Waiting for the gimbal to turn. But this is what you see right when you walk in. As you can see, beautiful flooring in here. All right, we're gonna start up front in that main cab area as usual. Overhead bunk right there with three windows. TV is located there. It is on a mount. It is able to be moved so you can access storages, of course. Sixty-one thousand three seventy for mileage. Cloth seats, manual cloth seats. Very standard E four fifty chassis. Less leg space for the uh, passenger as usual. All right. So your slide on this coach goes from that corner all the way down to that corner right there. Does have your booth dinette, 
and your jackknife leatherette sofa in it. Like I said, that is a sleeper. There is also storage under there that you could use. Same concept with the dinette, but no drawers on a dinette, so you will have to pull, it, uh, pull the cushions up to use the storage. Three storage compartments above the couch, all connected. Same exact thing with the dinette for those three right there. Gotta have your 70s mirror, always great. And then on the other side is your kitchen and some more storage. Get that tall person storage up there. Generator start, slide control, water pump, and water heater. It's a gas water heater. The backsplash has been redone. That was not normal, and you can see it goes all the way up. Between that and the flooring, I think is the only two kind of changes the previous owner made. Little pop-up leaf right there for extra room. Two bay sink, three burner stove top. No oven, no convection. It's a little bit different. You're only gonna be microwaving meals. You're not baking anything. Down below that sink, we got two drawers right there. Not much storage under the sink, but you know, maybe some rags or something. And then a decent storage under the stove top because of course there is no oven. All right, now making our way to the back, we do still have your refrigerator. It is a three-way Norcold. And freezer. No ice maker. Some more tall storage for people. And then we got your pantry. Let's see if I can get you a good angle on this. Four different little areas. You could technically put some pullouts in there if you want them to be a little bit more accessible. Now moving on to the back, we do have a split bath. Shower to the left, toilet to the right. The shower looks to be a two by three pan. And then a one piece fiberglass wall on it with a very tall skylight in there. And then we'll just kind of flip her around and look at the toilet room. This door does also act as a separator from the main galley area. Bathroom does have a little fan in it, a couple storages up above a raised pedestal toilet, which is China. Some storage under there, uh, a little stain too. Baby sink, and then of course, your medicine cabinet. Now right behind us is gonna be the bedroom. Bedroom you can't separate with this here accordion style door. It is a queen bed. There is no underbed storage because you have that massive storage compartment. So that's why that is so protruded for that under bed storage. A couple wardrobes left and right. Left side is definitely bigger than the right. And you have two wider drawers on the right compared, oh, I'm sorry, on the left compared to the right. Similar overhead storages. Right side, smaller wardrobe. Guys, you're sleeping on the right. And then a single drawer, still a couple nightstands. Left side doesn't get a nightstand. And then of course that overhead storage. There is a fantastic fan in here, which is nice. Always a plus. And then it's a pretty bare bones coach. There's not too many uh, options I were added to this. Here's my printout. As you can see, mileage 613, 49.995. Here are some basic, let's see if we can get her straight. My gosh, basic options and features. Your exact floor plan is that one right there. And then finally, hopefully that sun doesn't affect it too much. You can pause this and read through, you know, your heights, awning size, LP, feel, all that fun stuff. All right, now let's get this slide closed and see what it looks like while we're traveling. All right, that galley slide is in. Really not much changes except for the width of the coach. Everything is fully accessible. I mean, nothing changes on the door handles. Um, when you open the fridge, the bathroom, bedroom, nada. I did also forgot to point out, you do have a nice little middle skylight here for the kitchen. All right, let's see it from the outside. Now we're currently selling this coach at Padata RV Center in Tucson, Arizona. I'm one of the sales guys here, so if you are interested, you're welcome to reach out to me. I'll put all my contact info in the description box down below. And 
let me know if you have any questions. This is a side that you'll see obviously makes the biggest difference. Of course, your power cord would be in while you're traveling. Oh, and then this would be locked. There you go. 2011 Four Winds International 31P. Thank you so much for viewing, guys. Hope everyone has a great day.